Yo, my trainer saved you. Yeah, your boy's back, man. It's back, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back, it's back. Vengeance. Retribution. Revenge. This right here is retaliation. We want it back in blood, baby. All that good stuff. The bronze bomber Deontay Wilder is back to take what's rightfully his. Tyson Fury, beware, is learning to box at the tender age of 35. New trader Malik Scott, certified. Oh, hang about that rhyme. Anyways, enough of that, enough of that, enough of that. Deontay Wilder is back. He yeah, did a, an interview on 78 Sports TV. Well, to be fair, <laughs> Malik Scott was the one talking the most shit. According to them, they feel they, they're going to be much more prepared than Fury is this time because Fury's had his, his eyes, his focus on Joshua the whole time and he's been partying, rocking Versace and chilling in massive suites and all that. They feel that's going to, they feel that's, that's to their advantage. Could be wishful thinking, but they could be onto something. They, they, they were talking about they've had two different training camps this being the third training camp they're going to have ahead of this Fury fight because the whole time they've been focused on Tyson Fury for the record we're just going to leave this kind of comments here let's just etch these in stone go on Malik let's hear it All right the man hasn't had a healthy body basically his whole career he's 100% right. healthy now a1 doctors on board have got certain jobs and certain injuries he's been dealing with all that is over there his mind state is kill 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 with the surgical blueprints behind it now the grass is cut we know who is who he's training like ever never before how can we miss how we're not fighting somebody that he didn't knock out before you hear that right your, your king's back here. dent free he's 100 percent fit no injury concerns the grass is cut. Breland's gun. The grass is cut. No tainted water. Malik Scott by his side. What can go wrong? Nothing. He's got all the facilities. He said he's, he's built a, 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 train, a training facility specifically for Tyson Fury in his compound. Apparently, that's what Malik Scott was saying in the interview. So, yeah, he's got everything in place to, to deliver. So, I don't want to hear any excuses this time. Please, please, please. For the love of God. Crazy. In 2021, they're still talking about they knocked Fury out in whenever they fought the first time. Like, come on. Come on, Kings. Come on, Malik. Says a draw on box rec. Says a draw on the guy's record. Let's 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 live in reality. Step out of that only fantasy world you're living in, Malik. This is the real world, Malik. We're not doing all that fantasy stuff. Anyways, um, I guess now I, I, I'm a hater and I'm spreading false allegations. <laughs> now I'm saying he didn't knock Fury out in the first fight. These guys, I, I don't, I don't know, man. I don't even know. They're saying he wasn't at fifty percent, it wasn't at seventy percent or whatever during the second fight. So that's fine. Now, now they're saying he's in the best shape ever. He's in the best form of his life. Malik said he's only seen him being as focused as he is now. The only, the only times ever been seen in this focus was before the Povetkin fight, which never happened, which he, um, well, let's not get into that, which which never took place. That's the only time seen in this focus. But now what he's seen in Deontay is different. Now he's focused, focused. So yeah, I don't want to hear any excuses. One thing about the way Malik speaks about Deontay, especially in this interview, to whoever has any doubts if he actually did take a dive in that fight in the Wilder Malik Scott fight, you shouldn't have any more doubts after this interview. He definitely took a dive for this guy. Like, wow, some of the stuff they were saying to each other is a bit uh, okay. Love at first sight. Interesting. The impression I got from them in this whole interview though was that yeah, they seem confident, they seem yeah, they want to give it a good go. They seem they they fancy the chances, which it's good to hear. It's good to hear. I want to see. I don't want to see no, no. Um, I want Wilder to actually believe you can do it. So give it a go. Give it your best shot, and let's see. I mean, the best man win, really. Muhammad Ali is one of my greatest fighters of all time. More, he he was very magical in the ring, but it was the things that he beat outside the ring which really got my attention and why I give him nothing but gratitude for this. Yes. 
Deontay Wilder is the closest thing to that in this time. Absolutely. <laughs> the fact they're still coming up with stuff like that, like Wilder is Ali and they knocked Fury out in the first fight and you know, those type of statements, it doesn't bode well for the third fight, if I'm honest with you. It just seems they're still stuck in the same spot. They're still as deluded as ever. They're still not going to learn from past mistakes, you know? If this is the, the same mindset Wilder still possesses. Good luck in the third fight, Mr. Ali. Good luck, good luck, good luck. You're going to need it. Anyways, thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new around here. Have that notification bell on as well. Give me that like as usual. Like button. Do you write by me? Um, Twitter question marks UK and I'm out. <laughs>